And now, time for a second look at those stories, and today we're going to look at influencers, the popular online people, and we don't know why they're famous. And a lot of people want to be influencers. I get it. It looks glamorous. They show up in pictures, they do something, they get paid for doing something, but it's not something that you and I don't do. It's just they do it a little better, it looks a little nicer, a little cheerier, completely get why it's all great. However, is the life of an influencer so good? There are two types of influencers. The people who actually have a theme, something that everyone comes to them for, like a general knowledge base. And then there are the people that are just famous for doing regular things better, like being a housewife better, or lifting weights better. I don't really know what male influencers do, I'm not gonna lie. I don't really know... This may not be the topic for me, let's be honest. But I have crossed paths with a few influencers. And so here are the few drawbacks if you really take a second look at what's going on with them. First, what looks effortless takes hours. It's not like they just shoot these things in one take like I do with these videos. Maybe that's why they look a little more glamorous than what I'm doing. They take hundreds of photos, hundreds of videos, all of that, and put it together. It takes a ton of time. It's like a full-time job if you're an influencer that's actually making money. And it's one of the reasons a lot of us can't catch up if we're trying to be an influencer. Because how are we going to put all that time into being an influencer if it takes a full-time job? Second, you're not playing the real version of you. There's something that happens between the scenes, and when you look at social media accounts, it's a lot like reading a comic book. Your brain has to fill in what happened between when they were on the beach two days ago, and now they're skiing in the Alps, I don't understand, and those things could have happened at any point in time. They could have been miserable between those two times. They could have been working at Wendy's between those two times. We have no idea, but our brain fills in the gaps, and because their life looks so glamorous, we just think, oh wow, it must all be like that. It must all be perfect. It's a mean trick, too, because at least in comic books, someone is responsible for what happens between the scenes. It's our own brain in these instances where we're trying to fill in the gaps. If you're going to make any money, basically you are a freelancer that's just hoping someone will give you a gig. That's why some of the products make absolutely no sense. You look at someone that's really into travel and then suddenly they're wearing jewelry from some random jewelry person you've never heard of. I haven't heard of a lot of jewelry people. They're called jewelers now that I'm thinking about it, but that is confusing, and the reason is that they basically have to take whoever will come to them until they get to a certain level. But they're their own media entity, which means they have to watch what they do, and they have to just appear more and more perfect to get those sponsors, especially the ones that are just famous for being famous. Then the biggest problem, especially if you're in that middle ground of influencers where you have some followers, but you're competing against other people in similar categories, is you always have to top yourself. If you're one of these people making stunt videos, you just have to keep making bigger and bigger stunts, which becomes more and more dangerous, or someone else will. It's really hard to race to the top of that chart. Same with something called Pet YouTube, which is a place where people have exotic pets. You have to just keep getting more and more exotic pets, and then you have to take care of all these exotic pets, which seems unlikely that you're going to be able to do that because you're not actually getting paid enough, and you have all of these pets. Or you have to go to more exotic travel destinations, or do more crazy things at Disneyland, whatever the influencers do these days. Next problem. You are responsible for what your followers do. Take that pet YouTube person. If you have a tiger, you're sort of giving your users permission to also get a tiger, which they probably can't take care of. And the followers of influencers are usually people that are pretty susceptible to their advertising. It's usually teens and early adults who are really into the influencers. And we've seen through Facebook that a lot of people who are older and didn't grow up on social media can't discern what's going on on Facebook. And so they could be taken advantage of too. You're responsible for that audience. No one asks you to show up and be famous for being on YouTube or being on Instagram or being on TikTok. You chose that. And so what comes out of that is also, in some ways, your responsibility. And a lot of people who are controversial try to act like it isn't their responsibility, but it is. And finally, the worst part about being an influencer is that things are always changing. The way that you were able to gain your following, let's say on Instagram, may be completely different now where you can't do it. Early on, you might have been really good at search engines, but now search engines are not as powerful as they used to be, or you have to pay a lot of money. So to be an influencer, you have to always be catching up with the trends, and in just the drop of a hat, the platform could disappear, your audience could move, so you're always playing catch-up. 
So while we like to think that influencers have all of this power, in fact, they're influenced by everything going on with us, and they're just trying to keep up with the trends that will always change. So if that sounds like how you want to spend all of your time and probably not make much money, might still be the path for you. But clearly, it's probably not happening here. But maybe, you know, do those things that they always talk about, like, comment, share, subscribe. Buy me an ice cream sundae.